Hello everyone! Welcome back to Crafts with Crashly. So in this video I'm going to show you how I learned how to make my rubber band pens. And I use a rainbow loom, the original one. Um, I got it off Amazon Prime um, and it comes with this loom you get the hook and you get some cool storage container box that it comes in and you get 600 of these latex free rubber bands sorry about my scratch there i have a devil kitten as some of you may know um so i'm going to show you a couple that i have made um this one here was the first one i made i kind of made too many rows which i'll talk about um so it's a little punched up and then I just made these two last night. So yes, this is the only kind of pattern I know so far. But it's only $10 for this whole thing. And I was able to make these three pens. In this demonstration, I'm going to use these three colors. And I still have this many left over. So it doesn't take a ton of these rubber bands to make one pen. So just a couple things, whoops, just a couple things before we get started. First of all, I don't know if some of you guys have noticed, these pink pens come in different sizes. So some are quite a bit shorter than others. So the only reason why that's important is to know how many rows you will need. And I learned how to do this through a video I found here on YouTube by preschool teacher or something or another and according to her the short pens take about 21 rows and the longer pens take about 25 okay and then we'll talk about rows in just a minute so just to keep the video a little bit short I'm gonna go ahead and use the shorter pen so mine is going to have 21 rows now a couple things about the loom now these three rows here they can come out and they can be turned and you'll notice here these little I don't know horseshoe half circle things they can go different directions so originally when I got it this middle row was going the same direction it was going down and I flipped it because where we're actually going to insert this needle is in the back which I'll show you so when you get this you may want to flip the middle row to where the middle row is going away from you and these two are going towards you now I only use a five rubber band pattern and you can use like these long rows here to make a pattern like for bracelets or things like that um, I just do the pins <laughs> obviously so I just I'm going to use these five so notice how these four the little horseshoes are going towards me but this one is going away from me and you could see that arrow there that kind of helps so that's how you want to have it set up so to start it I think I'm gonna start with I'm hoping I have enough white because I just used the three colors that I had most of left over from the other pins that I made um, I know I have plenty of orange so I'm gonna start there so to do the first row you have to be going the same direction every time so I'm gonna start by going this way and for only for the first row you're gonna hook it on I'm trying to bring it closer you're gonna hook it on the one to the left twist it and hook it onto the one to the right to make like a an infinity thing then I'm just gonna push it down a smidge I'm gonna use the same color to go around all five so I'm gonna go this direction well, maybe if I can get it to hook there we go I'm gonna flip it make an infinity symbol there okay I'm gonna push this side down because I want this to be on top of the previous one just like this one I'm gonna want to be on top of the previous one I'm gonna flip it hook it onto that one and push it down just a little and if you're OCD you can make sure that these don't twist if you want to I don't really care 
but you can try to make sure they don't twist. I'm sure there's a way that takes more time. I'm just not really interested. All right, last one. I'm going to twist, hook it on this one. So here's what we have so far. Looks like a star. Let's see how the one goes on top of the other. We want to keep that going. Now I'm just going to push it down slightly for the to make room for the second row. There we go. Okay. And you kind of want to make sure your pattern goes the same way every time. So I know um, I started with the orange. I think I'm going to go to the white now. So we crossed them for the very first row. Now this time I'm not going to cross it, but I'm going to make sure I start the same way. So I'm going to start at going this way first. Then I'm going to head to this one. Okay. And to this one. Push it down a little. There we go. Yeah. So it's the same kind of thing, I just didn't twist. Okay. Now, here's where we get to use our little hooky hook. So now, you'll see on these pegs, let's see if it gets it to focus, they have little inserts here, which is why having the middle row going the direction we have it going is important. So I'm going to stick my hook in there, I'm going to grab the bottom two, then I'm going to just pull it over my peg. Okay. Now for this, it doesn't really matter which one you go to. Like I can come over here and pull this one over. Oh, get off my hook. Okay. And now this one, kind of like stick it in there and then bring it around. Pull it over. Same thing for this one. And pull it over. And see now, if we didn't flip this one, I'd have to come in right here, which would be pretty hard. But since I flipped it, now the hole is back here. So it's not nearly as hard. Oops. And that's what we have so far. All right. Now I'm just going to push this down. and go on to my next color, which is green. I'm going to go the same direction. Let's push it down a little bit. Make sure the one I'm putting on is going on top. And again, I'm not twisting. I only twisted the very first row. There we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my hook here, go inside the hole, grab the bottom two, bring it over. Sorry. Bring it over. All right. Push it down. And basically, you're going to just keep doing that until you have the amount of rows that you need. And if you ever need to know which color you just laid down, it would be the one still left on the peg. So the green was the last one I did. And then you can see the white. Orange is my very first one. 
So I'm going to jump back to orange, make sure I'm starting at the same two. And just go around the same way. Oops. These are so fun to make. I like doing it anyway. I'm going to see if I can learn different patterns though. It's the same thing, going in the little grooves, bringing this around. Now I'm just going to push it down and jump on to my next color, which should be white. Same direction. I'll push that down a little bit. But I do love diamond painting with these pens. Some people don't like the squishy aspect. I do. To me it feels like Almost like a memory foam pen. I don't know. I like them. And these are listed in my Etsy shop too if you guys are interested in trying them out before you buy your kit. And I will have the Rainbow Loom kit that I bought linked in the description of this video. And I do know that I saw where um, you can buy replacement rubber bands and they do have like some jelly type of rubber bands but according to the preschool teacher lady I wish I could remember the actual name of her channel I'll link her video too but um the shiny ones don't hold as much um, I think she says that they were like super slippery Something like that. But she recommended using the little matte. You'll notice that these are the matte and not as shiny. The original Rainbow Loom rubber bands. So I know that you can buy filler packages. And I'm pretty sure I saw a glow in the dark package. Which will totally be mine. I think I'll probably have to order some after this pen. So as you can see, we are just doing the same thing Ooh, over and over. Yeah, and make sure when you grab them, you're only grabbing the bottom two, not one. Grab them both. Leave them top two suckers alone. It ain't their time yet. And you'll notice how you start to see something forming down there. Alright, so I'm just going to speed up the video just a little bit for the next couple of them because like I said, I'm basically just doing the same thing over and over again. So here comes the speed. Enjoy the music for a little bit.
So I'm going to go ahead and count. I just I did decide to do a longer pen instead because I got a little ahead of myself and made one too many. So I'm going to go ahead and count them real quick and I just go by the colors. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, green makes 24. Okay, and so for the longer pens, I do need, yep, 25 rows. So now I'm going to show you how to end it. My next color is orange. So for this last row, I'm going to do exactly what I did um, for the very first row. Keep going the same direction, but this time I'm going to twist. And push down to make some room and this is on my 25th row for the long pins <laughs> oops go just down a little So now you can see we have that same kind of star deal. All right, just a second here. I'm gonna get the longer pen. Um, yep, this one's the longer one. Now I do this with my multi-placer still on it. And obviously you can use a blue pen. It doesn't matter what color the actual pen is. You ain't gonna see it, hardly at all anyway. So you can see how this kind of formed here, it is stretchy, um, and you can see there's kind of a little tunnel in there. So I'm just going to push this through, until I see it come out the other end. Okay, there we go. So I have this pushed through. So now, see these little floppy things? I think they look like flowers. <laughs> I'm just going to take my hands here and I'm going to put them over the tip. And that looks loose for now, but it will tighten up. Just going to push them over. And you can use the hook for this if you really want to. I just don't think it's necessary I guess but if you really feel like it oops I grabbed a white one I'm still grabbing a white one there we go all right and now I'm just gonna kind of push it down to where I'm back at the tip okay so there's that end now for this end, I need to push this in a little bit more so it stretches and get it to where the hole, there it is. See a little bit of the pink now? Okay. Now for this end, I probably will use my hook. And I'm going to do, oops, I forgot to do this layer here. Hold on, I gotta push these through real quick. Or bring them over. So on the last row you do do the same thing. Just bring them over. Which I can do it with a pen in there, it's the same thing. There we go. So now I'm just left with orange on the outside. Okay. So for the orange, let this down a little bit very last color. I'm going to take my hook, grab the two, I'm going to take them off of that peg, and I'm going to kind of do the same thing that I did on the other end. Just going to bring it around the tip. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with each of them. Oops. 
coming out it is completely off of the loom then I can just push this down like I did the other end bring it right back to where that tip starts this one back down to where that one started and there you have it that's all there is to it and you can manipulate it you can you know rotate it to where it's all perfectly straight if you really want to but that is all you do then you have a perfectly wonderful super comfortable rubber band diamond painting pen love it Alright, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Appreciate you being here. If this is your first time here, I hope you consider subscribing so you don't miss cool videos like this. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big old thumbs up on your way out. And thank you guys again for watching. See you later.